Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. So, we are working our way to the end. We kind of just started, but we may get there quicker than we think. And there is a lot of argument that could be made to not side with Kenny. Kenny seems to be able to not keep it under control, not think things through. I wouldn't have killed, uh, cared if he had beat up Arvo five seconds later once they realized the food wasn't there, but since they did realize the food was there and he was telling the truth, that's just not thinking things through. You've rewarded honesty bat negatively. That's not going to help anything. So there's definitely a lot of uh, argument to go with Jane side with Jane and get rid of Kenny but the whole first season was about sticking with Kenny and I still kind of feel like we need to stick with Kenny uh, if it wasn't about sticking with Kenny uh, there's nobody else in this game that's been around that long Bonnie hasn't been around that long Mike hasn't been around that long Jane hasn't been around that long they weren't in the game at all until the third season uh, let's see, is there any character besides Clementine? No. We, Luke, sticking with Luke would have been the earliest character we ran into. Uh, maybe the baby. It technically is, the baby technically is the one I've been around with the most, uh, besides Luke, since Luke's dead now. Hmm. Yeah, and everybody else from that group is gone. And I think it was probably going to end up that way no matter what. Anyways, let's continue now that we've just fallen into the lake and potentially myself or Bonnie is going to freeze to death. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. Hmm. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. Hmm. God damn it. We gotta try and keep Jane oh, in the group. Back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. Jane is a flight risk. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Hmm. Looks like feeling Mike better might be a flight risk. Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Hmm. I feel like we should just stick with Kenny. Clem. Is there, is there gonna be a reveal. Just be careful. Uh, that Kenny's done some pretty bad stuff in between the two seasons. I don't feel like there would be. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. 
Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. Really? <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Hmm. Oh, am I gonna get My the opportunity? Had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. To he leave was him behind. Some bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. Hmm. All right, give it a turn. Okay, so it is really feeling like it's going to come down between Jane and Kenny. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Is this the boat all over again? Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago, just before I met Ken. All right, turn it again. Uh did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. Hmm. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Hey, mirror. You always have to apply the game that works with mirrors. And the mirrors actually work. Alright. We're seeing too much stuff here. generator we using that art assets from the first game busted I'm really surprised Bonnie hasn't gotten into the drugs I could have sworn that was gonna be a situation wish they'd finished this place Talk to Bonnie. Smoking. What do you want? I just wanted to see how you were. <laughs> how do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. Looks like I've lost one member of our team. Looks like it's about to collapse. Go back in, I suppose. So, 
Maybe we're gonna have a group split here. We'll just have a talk with Mike and Jane. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Let's see. Oops, not gonna say anything. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. It's kind of a good argument to say Kenny never came looking for me. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. If we're gonna replace Kenny. Hold it like this. Jane is gonna have to learn to hey, take care of kids. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> she, she doesn't mind the zombie guts. But baby puke. <laughs> There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Of course, the problem here is Kenny is getting that car look, working. Uh, He's accomplishing stuff. He got it working. I'd love to side with Jane really would but it works got what it. I tell you so what's the plan how much food do we have at least a week and for the baby let's just get out of the snow I'm all for that I agree we should head back south what we're gonna freeze to death I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place but it was a bad one she's right what if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista, she told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. 
He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? Bonnie's not helping the situation anymore. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Let's just take... Is he just gonna drive off? God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. Hmm. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. <sighs> hmm. I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together, and that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Yeah. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Oh, you wanna convince him? Quit Look, acting like a psycho. We'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready. Could I just take the car right now? I can't drive, they said.
Mike can all go. Let's talk to him. We don't need to shoot him quite yet. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. Hmm. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. These guys aren't that helpful. But I need the resources. All right. and slow and you're gonna give me the gun okay and then we'll talk why are you doing this he didn't give us any choice I'm sorry Clem just give me the gun Clem I'm not gonna hurt you I'll shoot there we go there we go. Really? Turn it. It's fine. Just... <laughs> no! Clem! Jesus! Oh, God, Mike, we have to go. Just leave her. Wow. Wow, was not expecting that. Clem, Clementine. <gasps> oh wow, this is the first season. Uh, Lee? It's all a dream. It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. Now, nah, come on, you can't do this to us. What was it about? Wow. Doug. He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. Is this really going to be the ending? His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? Wow. What a way to end it. To I leave it here. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I'm just dumbfounded here. This is she was sad, Clem. Just like a huge spike sometimes. in the writing. Have you ever been that angry? One time. This means like Krista and Omid would be just Clem, made up people. People don't always make sense. How come? And Half the other people we There's met bad things would happen be made to everyone. up. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. 
know if we did the right thing. Oh, is Lily gonna come yeah. back? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. Now the game is making me feel awful. I'm scared, Lee. For all the nasty decisions I, I made. To make it better? Wow. That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. This game has certainly put up a mirror to my moral decisions. Basically, my immoral decisions and attempts to survive this game. Now that we see Clementine as I'm she was in the first sleep. season, innocent, not touched by the zombie okay. apocalypse, we see how far we've gone. At least in the dream. This is definitely impactful. Did not see this coming. Now does she wake up in the future again? Or is that just the end of the game? It would be very bold to end it here. It would be a little short in the episode, but... On the left! Slow down! Shut up! She's awake. We got the two we wanted, at least. You shouldn't move around if you're shot. Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. What? Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? 
Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. <gasps> this is crazy. Uh -huh. Someone here is crazy, but it ain't me. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Hope they worked that out. Kenny, I'm... Oh. Wait, hold on. Go well, around. We found some cars. And we will next time see what the whole deal is with all the barricade of cars. Amazing, amazing bit of writing going on there. It would have been so awesome really if they had just stretched out that dream sequence a little bit longer it would have totally explained why all these characters that we've seen up to this point are just repeats of the first season it would wash away that criticism completely it would have absolutely been a great way to end the entire thing to say now you have to look in the mirror and see the decisions you made and see if you really feel like they were the right thing now that you're putting them on the innocent Clementine from the beginning not the hardened war survivalist I've turned her into based on strategic moves and not an emotional moves but I still kind of feel like they're going to wrap this up really nicely of course, I may end up all alone again. Kenny is going to get that wound infected and die, I think, at, at some point. Jane is not going to be able to handle the kid. Uh, I'm going to end up alone with AJ, and AJ will probably die from just malnutrition and a lack of medical care. Anyways, that's it for this episode. As always, I ask you to like share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media site, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.